Retro sports games. Like the captain of the high school chess team, they just don't get enough love and action these days. But where would gaming be without them? The memories of playing NHL 94 and NBA Jam on the couch with your buddies are etched into your brain like the first time you pooped your pants in middle school. Unfortunately, a lot of times, older sports games are associated with shovelware, especially with collecting. I mean, do you really need all the Madden games on the PS1 and the PS2? What's the point? It's like owning 10 Toyota Corollas. They're all the same. Christ, just pick one and be done. I mean, will you ever play them all? There's a reason why those older simulation sports games are under $10 a pop. I feel I was pretty solid with staying true with just one game per sport on a newer console that I grew up with. For example, when the Xbox 360 was fresh, I bought NHL 09 and played it for the next four to five years nonstop. Did I really need NHL 10, 11, 12, etc.? Come on, we all know the deal. It's just a money grab. At this rate, they just need to come out with one and give you a bunch of DLC for a few years with roster updates and maybe come out with a new game every three or four years with legit game improvements and graphics. I mean, I was watching videos of like NHL, you know, 19, 20, 21. They're all the same. Like, and they're both 60 bucks. Just wait a year and buy it for five bucks. Anyway, but one of the cool things about retro games in general was playing with our buddies on the couch. It's a dying art like knowing the Dewey Decimal System or beating off into a sock. Plus, there's so much variation of sports games out there that you could actually own several games associated with one sport and not feel oversaturated with it. You always got the classic simulation games and then the ridiculous arcade style ones. Owning two to three football games on a 16 or 32 bit console was actually kind of common, in my opinion. Take the Sega Genesis, for example, you know, Madden 94, Mutant League Football, and then you got College Football's National Championship, owning those three games, I mean, they were kind of all different. You weren't really getting the same experience. But in this video, I want to talk about what are my favorite sports games to play with buddies on the couch that are, I guess, quote unquote, retro. Now, what do you define retro? I mean, obviously, the third and fourth generation, you know, the NES, the Super Nintendo, I consider the fifth generation to be retro, such as the PS1, Sega Saturn, Nintendo 64. And honestly, at the time of this video in 2023, I might even put the OG Xbox and the PS2 on the retro side now. But anyway, I have one game that's on the original Xbox that I'll show later, but these are my top five retro sports video games to play with your buddies on the couch. Let's check it out. All right, starting off, number five. NFL Blitz on the Nintendo 64. If you know, you know. In my opinion, this is the best football video game ever made. Now, I'm sure some of you will sit there and say, oh, well, you know, Madden, uh, you know, 09, blah, blah, blah. Hey, man, to each his own, Provolone. NFL Blitz, in my opinion, is the best football game ever made. The great thing about this game is that the computer AI is pretty decent. So if you're playing by yourself, you're still going to have a great time and it's a great challenge. But nothing beats playing with your buddy with this game. The games are always super close and anything goes. It's pretty much Midway's version of NBA Jam and NHL Hits. This is the football version. Now, if you have four players, you want to pick up NFL Blitz 2000. That is the four player compatible version. The original NFL Blitz, which I think is a slightly better game, but they're still kind of the same. But the original NFL Blitz is only two players. But still, if it's just one buddy, play the NFL Blitz. And if you have four, NFL Blitz 2000. They're pretty much the same as that game. So overall, this game is 10 out of 10 for me. And if you've never played it before, please do yourself a favor and play it. You will not be disappointed. To back up another Midway game, Number four on the list, possibly the greatest hockey game ever made, NHL Hits 2003. Now, they made three versions of this game, NHL Hits 2002, the one I'm showing right now, 03, which is the one I own, and then they made an NHL Hits Pro, which came out in 03. I think Scott Stevens is on the cover, but man, this is NBA Jam on ice, and this is on the OG Xbox, so this is what I was saying in the beginning of the video. Now, I still kind of... Uh, I would call this a retro game at this point, but this game has the perfect graphics to me. It's not realistic, but the graphics are good enough where everything looks buttery smooth and it's amazing. My buddy Marco and I play this nonstop and it's always back and forth. Sometimes you'll win 10 to 1, sometimes the game will be tied 6-6, and sometimes you'll get your ass kicked 7 to 2. It goes back and forth. Even if you play the same 
teams over and over again. My favorite team here is the New Jersey Devils, as you can obviously tell. But if I play the Rangers like 20 times in a row, every game is going to be absolutely ridiculous. Now, the key to this game, looking at the player stats, you want to have good checking and be fast. Now, I love Scott Stevens, but sometimes I don't pick him in this game because he's kind of slow. You have to have fast players because this is nonstop, but it's also very important to be very good at checking. But if you guys have never played this game before, this is insane. It's three on three and it's nonstop. It's ridiculous. The only penalties in the game are is that you can't uh, crash into the goalie, which is kind of fair because then everything would be mayhem. But, um, you know, there's fighting. And the good thing about the fighting is that if you lose a fight, that player is out of the game for good. And uh, <laughs> like I said, if you've never played this game before, I I have tons of fun with it every single time I play it, and I can never get tired of it. Now, playing with the computer, it's still good, but playing with your buddy, it's three times better. You have to check it out, and it's dirt cheap. The Devils take one more. He really snapped that shot off in a hurry. No wonder the goalie didn't even flinch. Number three on the list, the best 16-bit baseball game. Ken Griffey Jr. presents Major League Baseball. Now look, in my opinion, I think the best retro baseball game of all time is MVP Baseball 2005 on the Xbox and PS2. But there's just something about Ken Griffey Jr.'s baseball that is just timeless, man. The ridiculous graphics, you know, um, <laughs> the animations. Uh, the thing I love about this game is that it's so simple, man. Like anyone who's never played this game before can pick it up and learn it in five minutes. It's a few buttons and that's it. You know, up is second base, right is first base, down is home, real simple. The biggest downside of this game though, is that the AI is ridiculous. Playing the computer is almost impossible to beat. As you can see, I'm doing the all-star game and they're kicking my ass. But this video is about best multiplayer sports game. So playing this with the buddy, is awesome. It's fast. It's amazing. If you don't own this game, you have to play it. It's one of the most iconic Super Nintendo games of all time, and it's amazing. All right, number two on the list, NHL 94. Hands down the best Sega Genesis game, in my opinion. If you watched my previous video, this is my favorite Sega Genesis game of all time. Now, I know I'm cheating. This is my second hockey game, but hey, eat my ass. Hockey is my favorite sport of all time. Now, what can I say about this game that hasn't been said before? This game is timeless. The great thing about this is that it's four player compatible. Now, it, usually when I play the computer, I tend to play NHL 95 because NHL 95 has slightly better goalie AI. And if you're, if you're familiar with NHL 94, you can do that cheap wraparound goal, which I'll show right here. So the thing with NHL 95 is that they've actually kind of stopped that. It's more difficult to do it. You can still do it, but it's more difficult. But NHL 95 is better when you're playing by yourself um, because it's a little bit faster. The uh, computer is a little bit stronger. But, man, playing NHL 94 with your buddies, nothing beats it, especially four players. You know, you can have one guy playing the goalie. I mean, no one really does that. It's always two skaters versus two skaters, or you can or you can even do three skaters versus one, but it's always two on two when my buddies come over. But man, this is one of the greatest sports games of all time. If you've never heard of it, I don't know why you're even watching this video. Okay, so this may come as a shock, but my favorite sports game to play with friends is Mario Tennis on the N64. If you've ever played this game before, I'm sure you agree with me that this is probably one of your all-time favorites. The game is the definition of easy to play, hard to master. Kind of like uh, Virtua Fighter 2 on the Sega Saturn. You know, it's three buttons. You know, it's so easy to pick up and play, but the game is almost impossible to master. And this is what Mario Tennis is pretty much like. It's a few buttons. You know, you move around the analog stack. It's so fun, and it's four players. I can't even tell you how many times... My nephews and nieces come over and all they want to play is Mario Tennis on the N64. It's four players. And that's the thing. It's like, you know, when you're playing like, you know, football or, you know, basketball, you're not always in the action. But when you're playing this game, every single player, all four of them are involved and they are nonstop playing. This game is amazing. The replay value is through the roof. If I had to pick one sports game to have for the rest of my life, 
this is it. I know it's kind of a cop-out because it's a Mario game and it's a Mario sports game, but still, it's still tennis at the end of the day. And um, the good thing about this game is that you can play the computer and it's great. You know, like once you get really good at it, you can start playing on the hard mode and it's pretty good. It's almost like playing another human. But if you play it on the easy, it's, you know, very simple. That's like for kids. Normal is if you're not familiar with the game, but you're like, okay. But when you start playing on the hard mode, that's when it starts to get pretty tough. And then intense is really, really tough. But um, I'm at the point where I always play it on the hard mode because, um, you know, it's always a decent challenge. But like I said, this is the best four player sports game in terms of retro games out there. Um, if you've never played this game before, this is where it started. Um, I know they made versions like on the GameCube and on the Switch, but I played them. But nothing beats Mario Tennis on the N64. Even if you look it up on Wikipedia, this game got critical acc acclaim. And I, man, if I had to sell my collection, I would probably keep this along with some other games, but this would always be in my collection. If you guys have never played this before, you have to check it out. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.